<laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and your one feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my wall. You. All right. Cheers. Good morning, everyone. What is up? Another beautiful day in paradise. Birds chirping. You know, the dream is out here. The dream is real, but we got our lawns to cut today. Um, since all the rain and everything, we're supposed to be doing it like every week instead of every two weeks, which is a typical lawn service. I would clean. All right, so this is the mower I've had. The second mower I ever personally owned. Um, and I've cut hundreds of lawns with this same blade. And it's doing okay, but now this piece got bent on a rock or something you can see it I'm going to try and switch the blade out hopefully it won't be that hard but it's looking like after I got it unloosened that it might actually be easier than I thought so my friend's dad Kenny the guy who gave me all those automotive parts like that engine block his dad used to own a lawnmower repair shop but I don't think that these blades are gonna go on here the blade I have looks like this and the blade I need looks like that so I don't th I don't know if this is gonna even be no, it's too big, but I need a replacement blade that looks like this. I guess I'll cut with it one more day and then we'll buy a blade later because having two mowers is a way, way better than having just one. But at least I know what it looks like. I think I can get one at Home Depot. gear so ready to hit the sash we are going onto the island and we're gonna cut um, I don't know eight lawns seven lawns seven or eight I don't know it changes every week pretty much but uh, we're doing it all, all it's all for a real estate company pretty much and then one extra that's just our own one or two extra. I can't even remember. I just go around and cut the ones that I know I have to cut. Sammy J looking. Coming in fresh, that boys. You got the checky check? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got a water pump. Pump for the under the house from Harbor Freight. Never used it once. Didn't even take, didn't even take the stickers off. But we did open the box, so we couldn't return it to the store. We had to call the corporate office, and they sent us a check for the full amount of it. And they said, just keep the water pump. So I don't know how that is a good business plan, but I guess they just throw everything out if they get it returned. So we never even used it. We just used a different pump. And we have another sump pump in the other truck, so we're probably never going to use the Harbor Freight one unless we have to. What's the claim today? That's the claim. That's it? Mm -hmm. Shaky stain. Dude, I totally just found weed on the ground. This little baggie, <laughs> it was just on the ground right there. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. I don't want that weed. No one ever wanted that, really. <laughs> yeah, they would have though. I know people that would eat smoke that. Here, take this. Like, you got that end, right?
We turned down a one way and it was fate. It was destiny. Yeah, show him to the camera though. Oh, he's gonna bite you. He's not a snapper, but we need to take him with us. That's the problem. Dude, you can't just leave them in here. True. Like, what do you want me to do with them? I'm claiming take them to the spot, dude. What spot? How would you know if he was a guy or not? Because then he definitely don't have babies in there. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> How would you feel? You get him too close. All right, we found a little waterway here. Kind of knew about it, kind of didn't. Gonna get poison ivy just saving this guy. Dude. He's mad. He mad. No, he's not gonna be. When he's just cruising through this. He can swim, right? Huh? He's chilling. Phew. Wildcat style. This backyard got added onto the list somehow. I don't even know if I'm how it fits through here. That's how crazy this is. So. I don't even know, dude. This is crazy. Gonna hit this quick, I guess. All right, we need to clean this at my mom's house now. Sammy J never pruned before. First pruning of the life. Tell me to show you how? Sure. It's this easy. Do you just keep this there or you gotta put them in that trash can? Yeah. In the trash can. Oh, oh sorry. Do you want to try? You're just cutting the whole thing down? Every piece, yeah. You want the whole bush gone? Yeah. So why don't you just weed whack you it You can, it's too thick. Good idea, though. I would try it's too. In this bush. It's part of that tree. The, the the seeds from the tree fell down and are growing oh. different trees. <laughs> Get in there. Two hands, and then I'll hold it. Do you got it? <laughs> Get deeper. Get deeper. What do you mean? On the pruner. I there, there it is. There she is. Oh, oh, the boy. The first pruning of her life. <laughs> Successful pruning. insanity of how cutting grass makes you feel we were just thinking I was just claiming that it might be partially why Sammy has some the pimples on her face because it is so hot out and you open up all your pores and the weed whacker the mower and everything's getting thrown dust and sand the whole island that we cut grass on is literally all sand I don't even know how they figured out how to grow grass on it it's actually all weeds mostly what we cut but it's kicking up all this dirt and just 
your pores are just taking it in and it's just... Well, it's cleaning your house. It's everything. Huh? It's everything. We cleaning out houses is the same thing. Yeah. Like, even the cleanest house ever. In, in, in the videos, every house looks cleaner than it is in real life. Oh, yeah. But even in the cleanest house, even our own house, if we moved everything... Put it this way, if you let the house sit for two years and then moved everything out of it, even my mom's house, there'd be dust and dirt on everything because it's, it's just how it gets. And literally, even houses that were only built five, ten years ago, five, ten years ago, they have dirt in them. So it's like, same idea. You're picking heavy stuff up, moving it down, flights of stairs, sweating, and all the dirt and dust is going in near poor. So it's just like heavy situation but sacrifices have to be made to get anywhere in life also we saved a turtle today so it was all worth it mm -hmm. unloaded every all the lawnmower stuff um scrap and these can't sell so don't even want to deal with them honestly at this point this is trash i came up with this plan in the last like i'd say 24 hours but I'm thinking about building a dream structure right here, like running a six by two or two by four, probably a two by four across here, leveling it to the shed and then running beams across, putting two of those posts that I have right there in the ground here and there, making it as wide as the shed and a tilted roof coming towards me from up there and just putting, literally making that just the one wall and then I'll make three walls and I have a door already for the front and just making it like literally literal shelves. Maybe even build them in or just use metal ones. Just a tiny little keep life shed so I can put all the antiques and stuff in this shed and have my lawnmowers in that shed because it's getting just over the top so hopefully in the next like week or so i might even start tonight today not sure if i get enough time i'm gonna but that's probably one of the top priorities right now because i need more room all right we're in ac i'm gonna try and go to the beach for a minute uh, relax for a couple seconds, but uh, look at these birds. Alright, we came back from the beach and I had a Facebook message from my friend who had some scrap for us. So we got all these chairs, footstool, four of those chairs, two of these tables, well, two of those chairs and one of these and then there's a big lounger that's still there and, a ta and another table. I was thinking about potentially keeping a couple and probably either selling or scrapping the rest. I think if I put all this stuff and the other stuff up for $100, I think someone would buy it. But we might actually want some of it. So, we'll see. All this furniture though. And those two pieces of scrap, a grill and another table that doesn't have a top. Gonna put that in the trailer in a little bit or tomorrow morning. There's a bird next door and Sammy talks to the bird cause he, he knows when she comes out and calls to him. Whoa! But, she promised the cats wet food two days ago and said she was going to bring it back to them. And now, she tried, that's true. But uh, we're going to go. The beauty of where we live, we can ride to almost any store grocery store, uh, pharmacy pretty much anything, but we're gonna just ride down there and get them some snacks.
Which one do you like? Um, out of the selection, Fancy Feast. We can get... Seafood Feast? Two. Or they have chicken. 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 All seafood. Kinds of yeah, chicken. just get those two. Just two. And I have to watch MJ. I have to feed them separately, basically, because MJ likes to, like, like bully Sissy into giving him her treats over here. Hey! Are they finally getting their snacks? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Sissy. Hey! Hey! Sissy's got to get hers. You guys get it at the same time, MJ. Hold on. No, no. Get out of there before you cut your mouth. All right. Come on with yourselves. Come on. They want it so bad. MJ, come on. Do you guys want to eat it out here then? Come on. Come on with yourselves. Sissy, MJ, let Sissy get hers first. Ladies first. Here, Mama. There you go, stinky boy. Now watch. MJ. All right, we got some scrap claims here. So Mike Harrison, he sent me this a bit ago, but I guess I missed it. But that's the bed of his truck, whatever kind of truck that is. What kind of truck is that exactly? Because that thing can hold a lot of weight, boys. So there it is again. And there it is again, totally filled. And he said he just sent me a picture on Instagram, so might have to check that. What? Brat. Total brat. He's a brat baby. Leave him alone. He's a man for my attention and then he's man.